everyone, my name is Eleanor and I'm an undergraduate researcher at Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia. I work under Dr. Saikawa in the Environmental Sciences Department to study air pollution in Atlanta. So what are regulatory monitors? Let's learn with Air Emory, a subset of Saikawa Lab. It is recommended that you watch our Air Quality 101 video before this one to understand all of the concepts. Follow the link in the description to watch that video and then you can come back to this one. The Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, is responsible for a huge network of air quality monitors, called regulatory monitors, throughout the U.S. These monitors are the only reliable way to measure the AQI for the geographic area that the monitor covers. There are also air quality sensors available for people to buy and use on their own, and these are called low-cost sensors. However, the readings from low-cost sensors should not be assumed to be accurate. The EPA's regulatory monitors are very big and expensive, with much more advanced instruments than low-cost sensors are capable of. Although low-cost sensors are great for citizens to estimate the air quality around their home or everyday environment, the only accurate AQI readings come from the EPA's monitors. Here is a picture of low-cost sensors from Airly. They are pretty small. Here is a picture of a site of an EPA regulatory monitor. As you can see, it is much bigger than the Airly sensors. This is why co-location is such an important process. Air Emory is using low-cost sensors from Airly to estimate the air quality of local Georgia schools. But first, we have to set up the Airly sensors in the same spot as the EPA's monitor. We observe the air quality readings from both the regulatory monitor and the low-cost sensor over a period of time. Then we compare the results to make sure that the estimated air quality from the low-cost sensor is as close as possible to the accurate air quality readings from the regulatory monitor. Then we can have a higher confidence in the air quality readings when we set up the low-cost sensors at Georgia schools. You can imagine co-location like this. The square is a regulatory monitor and the triangle is a smaller low-cost sensor. First, we let them measure air quality right next to each other and compare the results. If the low-cost sensor gets similar results as the regulatory monitor, we move them farther away and can estimate the air quality from the low-cost sensor alone. Whether or not you have your own low-cost air sensor, the EPA's network of regulatory monitors is a wonderful resource. Now let's look at some of the air quality data that the EPA provides. When you want to look at air quality data from the network of regulatory monitors, these websites are good resources. AirGeorgia.org for Georgia-specific information and EPA.gov slash outdoor-air-quality-data for national information. Now I'm going to show you some examples of the types of information you can find on these websites. I'll give you a moment to look at the graphs and maps after I've talked about each one. Here is a map of the entire U.S. showing air quality on January 5, 2020. As you can see, the air quality was pretty good that day for the entire country. This is another chart, and it shows that there were actually only two days with air quality that was unhealthy for sensitive groups in Fulton County, Georgia during 2020. Here we have a map of the U.S., and I've zoomed in on Georgia. I've selected that I wanted to see data on two pollutants, ozone and PM2.5. On this map, the markers are showing me where regulatory monitors are collecting data on these pollutants in real time. Here is a map of Georgia with the AQI visible for all of the monitors collecting data on a given day. And finally, here is a graph of the 10-year daily averages of PM2.5 in Fulton County, Georgia.
Understanding air quality data is a great way to be an empowered citizen. Now hopefully you know some great ways to access data that the government provides for us from the network of regulatory monitors. See you in the next video!